hello everyone welcome to talented developer in this tutorial we are going to see how to print an array so before going to write the code first of all understand the concept of array so generally array means similar collection of data that means if you have number you can define as a first of all type type means in and you can give your open and close bracket and you can give your variable name suppose i can give your a and after that you can initialize your array and other way like if you want to put some value like 1 comma 2 comma 3 that means int a is a array and it is containing three value 1 2 3 so the length will be what totally 3 and index position will be start from 0 1 2 so in this video we are going to print this value so we can print like 1 2 3 or if you want you can also print 1 2 3 or if you want more thing then you can do like 1 2 3 correct so let's write the code so first of all we need the type of array so we are going to store only integer so what you can do int and you can start with open and close bracket and you can give your variable name so i can give here like array for now so here i'm just going to assign the value so what you can do open and close and just give your value like 1 2 3 4 so we have to print so how we can print so in this approach we are going to use the for loop so in this for loop you have to pass three parameters so first of all it will ask like okay what is your starting point so our starting point is what zero index so what you can do just give in i equal to zero and it will go till which position it will go till array dot length so just give your i less than array dot length that means array size and how it will go zero one two three four like an increment so you can give your i plus plus now you can just try to print so first of all we need system dot println just type s y s o sys out dot println it is a shortcut in the eclipse and after that what you have to do just you have to give here array and open bracket and close bracket just pass i value i means what first of all you will get 0 0 means here what 1 next time i value will be 2 then 3 then 4 now you can run you can see we are getting output here 1, 2, 3, 4 correctly. If you still have a doubt what you can do, just come here and again try to print your i value. So if you run, you will get like see index of 0, you got output as a 1, index of 1 that means 2, index of 2 that means 3, index of 3 means value as a 4. So we got this output using the for loop, but you can also do here for each loop. So what you can do, just comment this line and just come here and you can give here for each loop syntax so our array type is what int so what you can do just come here and type here int and you can give the variable name so i can say here element and here you have to pass your array array means our input here now just come and just try to print your element value run this program you can see we are getting also here 1, 2, 3, 4. So this approach was using the for loop. This approach is using the for each loop. And another way is you can use here a standard library array. So what you can do, just come here and just type sys out and type here arrays. So it is a one class and here they have a one function that is called to a string. And here you can pass your array value. If you open this one, you can see it is a class and this class is coming from java.util package. And to a string, it is expecting here input as a int array. Now you can comment this line and run this program. You can see here we are printing 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can follow any of this approach. But if you use this approach, you can see open and close bracket is also there. So that's it for the today. Thank you.